if all the cells are reading zero, which I suspect they will be, that battery has got nothing going for it. It's barely registering that's that bank. Barely registering that bank. Barely registering. We might be lucky though. Because there's actually something there. We might be lucky. These are very low. These are less than, you know, fractions of a volt all the way. Um, seriously, critically low voltage throughout the pack. What I would say about that and what the possible attempt to fix would be, I would say we could try voltage recovery through the power supply, the DC power supply. Or if you want to do a crude method, jump start, but because these are so low you're likely to fry at least four of the cells I would say doing that. So I would say Trying it in the DC power supply would be my solution for that. So that's one down. Very low volts. Very low volt. So that'll that'll tell me what I need to know. Then I need to try and recover the voltage in that one. On to battery two. Test again. No light. What we have to do is a quick volt check. Out the top of the battery we have to see what she's throwing out the top again positive negative that's we we'll see get to the voltage it might tell me it's showing 13.8 volts before opening this I would guess I'm guessing that we need to do cell replacement in that one. I would say there's, doing the mathematics, I would say there's probably four cells away in that one. But again, we don't know for sure till we get in there. We'll have to take the screws out of this one because there is actually screws in this one. This is below chargeable voltage, so it's 15.8, but unless it's just low across the pack, voltage recovery wouldn't be the answer. If we have some cells lower than others, we have to either bring the cells up to 